Okay. Yeah, like Werewolf, Pemberton, Detective Agency. And, right. and they're co the, the main detect, the owner, is covering up um, a, a supernatural Super crimes as well as solving them, considering that he misled the investigation, covered it up, and now he's the only one who can actually solve it. Right, you have to solve it now after you've stolen evidence that, that it was a werewolf bite. Right. You know, you have to, you have to, you have to uh, convince the cops of something else. You have to, uh, you have to seriously pay off the, uh, the, what is it, the coroner? Yeah, the coroner, the, uh, another one, yeah, uh, uh, the, the doorman. The doorman of what? Of the building. Oh, yeah, to get in there first. Yeah. Oh, maybe you could have, like, a Constantine type guy. That gets him in place, helps yeah, well, him get in well, place. Well, no, like, he is Constantine, you know? Maybe he could have a doorman. Or something like that. Some right. John Luguiziamo type type dude. Yeah, who's like a thiefy guy that can help him do thiefy stuff. And get him in the buildings just by like looking like he should be there. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I was thinking. Uh, I was thinking of uh, the the main guy is a werewolf, and um, he, you know it's the Lupin Detective Agency. And he's got a bunch of, like, humans working for him. Right. And, but he and does his own thing. And maybe, you know, at the end of a season or something like that, it's... Yeah, it's very X-Files, and maybe at the end of a season, you know, something happens to one of the... The, the crew. Un, the crew. They, 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 see, they see through the bowl or whatever. They, uh, they learn the ropes. They, they, they find out who he is. Uh, maybe they get scratched or... Or bitten or, or you some, know. Yeah, some super... They're not match. part of the crew or some... In a different way. Oh, there was this cool thing in the um, uh, vampire books that I'm reading that the... Um, uh, uh, it's the same uh, thing from Castlevania, the animated series. And um, the, the mage, the sage, uh, she's like this book girl, but she picks up magic spells. It's just part of her reading and whatnot and her studies. And uh, she does this spell where she like sees into the, um, the like the spirit world at the same time, and it, and it, and she sees like all these ribbons of energy from this like vampire guy who's actually like a void in his soul, and he's like sucking the life out of trees, right? And he's making people sick and babies of, die. Of uh, an energy vampire. Yeah, he's like the the craziest energy vampire, and uh, and, uh, and and she can see she she manages to see in the spirit world to find him and, and it ends up making her throw up a bunch and okay. uh, really sick and, and there's like this whole other spell uh, that their dog who's like a one of those sprites in uh, in uh, Princess Mononoke or Spirited Away or something like that they're like right. these little like energy sprites or like nature sprites anyway um, uh, but back to the wolf thing yeah. Uh, um, well, there's, like, you mentioned witches, and that should be a thing, is that there should be, act, and we were talking, same with the werewolves, there should be, you know, me reading a witch book doesn't make me super uber witch, but I might be able to pull something off, you know, I, I, I like the, versus an uber, versus an actual witch. I, yeah, yeah, I liked, I, oh, we were talking about how, like, there might be a, th you, you do a, an episode arc or an episode where it's just uh, Loki versus Hulk, and Loki sep the Enchantress separates Hulk from Bruce Banner, and so you could separate the wolf from the guy, and, and then it's just the regular wolf, and then the dude, and then uh, they could merge back together, but he's just, he's not a werewolf, he's just a wolf, and then he's just a dude, and then separate him again, but merge him, and then it's like, it's like a, like a gray Hulk, mm -hmm. Bruce Banner, where, you're, where he's full werewolf out, but, like, control, like, Beauty and the Beast. Right. And then we also talked, like, there were the Children of the Night are different. Yeah, yeah, you could, you could have fun in, in, in a writing. Fact that, in, in, right. in as a writer, you could, you could oh, well, the, there's the Children of the Night, and those are different than pure bloods and Right. Um, um, uh, there's shapeshifters. The, there's the Cursed. The Cursed, right. That's totally a type. Uh, and um, those, are the, those are the real, like, regular... You know, once a month, I just got bit and turned into a fucking thing. I would, I would think so. Yeah. 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 Just the cursed, the scratched. Yeah. The, yeah. Curse. the, the scratch is a big word that maybe gets used. The scratch. Yeah. The scratch. <clears throat> um, so those are the like children the, of the night, the shapeshifters. Uh, it 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 could be fun in a uh, 
in a the originals vampire show kind of way to like make differences yeah between those types of where oh and, dyers and uh yeah we were talking about a guy who might have been uh, like like the dude he's out on the road it's not in one town or whatever and it's all like grizzled detective talk uh um but but you know the streets are hard and 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 and, and dark, dark and and I fight the night. Yeah, and it, and 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 it you know makes his lines you know regular detective detectivey stupid, grizzled mm-hmm. hard boiled lines and it, you know he adds extra meaning because like there really are like monsters out there. And he, the deal uh, also. Oh, on... Yeah, you you do a narration. It's kind of like Are You Afraid of the Dark? But then he follows it up with But There Really Are Monsters. Right, and and, and so that that's kind of cool. He is one of those drunk, not not drunk, but. You know, one of those 1920s. Yeah, well, he's, he's, bur- he's burnt out. He's burnt out, but it's only because he's he's got the <laughs> he's got the werewolf. Well, he's got the werewolf problem. And so instead of being an alcoholic, he's 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 got the werewolf problem. Yeah. So he he, he has you know he can't keep a relationship. You know. So now he gets to you know date a bunch of chicks. Right. So so I was gonna say. Um, he might be burnt, seem burnt out and everything like that, but he keeps his, he keeps it like the Pemberton detective agency, so none of his men are like that. None of his men or women, you know, none of his, his agents are burnouts. They're all... Super tied up. I was they thinking get that. nice I was hotels. Mr. Lupin, uh, fully werewolfed out, uh, but like wearing a tie. Like Greyhawk, but like, but yeah, I was thinking thinking that too because um, the whole werewolf thing it's usually very scummy and you know lots of like hair and drool and nasty, gross stuff and a bunch of hobos that kind of like smell, and uh, that's normally the werewolf bag, and and normally the vampires are the ones that are all posh and sooty. So it would be nice to have a werewolf guy that's, like, trying to, like, you know, be respectable. Which is also why he's covering up the, covering up, like, supernatural crimes. Because he doesn't want to be caught Yeah, yeah, a werewolf. Right, right. It's it's all about trying to maintain respectability. Right. Um, I think I was saying also that he should pay people in silver. (laughs) Just because it's a werewolf werewolf way to get out of... It's just getting rid of silver. It, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you you try to you try to you try to collect all the silver and, and get s- rid of it, and then send it out of state. Yeah. Um, what's that another dog. one that's that's a pretty no, good? No, not no dog. Oh, the witches. So there's difference in witches. There's the different types of vampires. There's the different types of werewolves. You know what I mean? You get to hit. Hit all of your boxes. What? Oh, you, know? you get to do the nice dressed man with the uh, with the like the bowler hat and the pinstripe suit because for some reason the werewolves like that's a that's a pinstripe suit thing is is like a good thing for werewolves. Um, I think with the red tie um, right. and the bowler hat, and then you do the yellow eyes. Yeah, one was probably where you do the blazing yellow, yellow eyes. Yellow eyes. Yeah, especially when he gets mad or whatever, and that's how he lets other people know that you know he's a werewolf and then let you up. <laughs> And then we were talking about the dire wolf thing, which is like he goes and like yeah. he's on the lookout for a dire wolf one episode, and it's not a werewolf thing; it's an, it's just a dire wolf thing. And uh, and then he ends up like finding the guy, and then like the dire wolf goes down for whatever reason, maybe like locals or something, and he was trying to save it, like once again covering stuff up. Right. And then at the last minute, it like transforms back into a regular person and it's like the biggest dude ever like one of the uh dire like like one of the dudes that, that we were that like on youtube it's like the biggest strongest guys in the world <laughs> and you know some of these guys are huge and so you have one of those guys for a day come out and just be the be the uh the werewolf yeah yeah like the shot werewolf you know that's transformed back mm-hmm. um yeah, you do all the different <clears throat> things you can, and and it's, you, he's really trying to save as many people as he can. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to. He's uh, he's 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 subverting the law, and he's basically a crooked cop. But he's not a cop. He's a crooked law professional. Right. And it's essentially X Files, but X Files when they're trying to cover up supernatural stuff instead of find supernatural stuff. 
Like, essentially, the show's trying to defeat itself from the beginning of every episode. Yes. It's trying to create an environment where there are no supernatural things going on. And so, when there are supernatural things that happen, you can keep it light and it's still impactful. Yes. Because it's like, oh, this isn't supposed to happen. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm gonna hush hush. Um, there was also the... Yeah, I, I, I like the bit where, um, in, uh... <laughs> The one where it's a ghost, a wit, um, um, a vampire, and a werewolf. Um, what's that show called? Be. Yeah. Now I'm away for these these goofballs. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. yeah Being Cuban. Uh, uh, the, the ghost. Uh, the, the the ghost found a book. Um, in a field. And, uh, and it was a witch book. Right. She was just like magically drawn to it. Um, I was also talking about the. I mentioned the the um, Tasmanian werewolf. Yes. There was a there was a some movie or episode back in like the eighties where um, the werewolf was shot or whatever, and at the end um, you got to see that he was actually a ta or he, he turned into a werewolf before he went down, and the dude was a Tasmanian tiger werewolf, and it was it was very impactful, because he was, like, the last of the his Tasman kind. Yeah, yeah, there's no more Tasmanian tigers for, like, a hundred years, and then there was a human that was the werewolf version of it, that was pretty fucking cool. <laughs> so, you do that. So, yeah, do stuff like that. Um, you, we mentioned uh, a resurrected werewolf's never been done. Yeah, yeah, I think that's kind of, uh, no, well, what do you mean a resurrected werewolf? Like, nobody's ever, like, tried to, like, resurrect a werewolf, like... I think the Loki thing that we were talking about kind of covers all that okay. kind of stuff. Uh, you were talking about witches, could be lineage witches. Yeah, lineage witches versus, uh an actual creature witch okay which is like you know the the mortal witches basically are like you know the real creaturey witches yeah <laughs> the, 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 witches green there was skin the, or whatever the green skin <laughs> well that was from from spreading know, just... on and then and then hanging out near a fire so but that <laughs> that could be a thing too you know where you explain how witches use you know the green things from the ergot and hanging out near a fire because it gets into your skin and then you trip out nice and good and then you have a broom to sweep up the ashes of the, of the campfire you're hanging out near. And that's where you get the broom and the witches. But then there was the uh, Mexican guy that, like, actually saw a witch. And then they caught it on video. Like, it, like, stole a goat or something like that and was, like, flying into the mountains. <laughs> right. Right? So, so, like, like you could have, like, some sort of weird interdimensional creepy banshee witch thing that, like, you don't even know what the hell it is. It's so fucked up. <laughs> right. Uh, and they, they're the real magic. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Just some absolute demon ghoul of a thing that was a witch, like, before it, I don't know. Demon the out or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hide it! 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 And that Sasquatch aren't actually from this dimension. They're, they're, they're yeah, they're they're interdimensional travelers and they're psychic. And so if they wanted to, they could actually like telepathically communicate with you. But like normally they keep to themselves and don't fuck around. And um, you could get like I was just thinking like a group of actual werewolves come to the detective agency and because they're concerned because like they keep uh, as werewolves they keep picking up trails of like Sasquatch. <laughs> And my man goes out there, and he, like, actually meets a Sasquatch, Sasquatch, and it just stone stares at him while you, like, get audio, and it, like, communicates telepathically. Right. But yeah. you could you could do the whole thing where he goes out there, and, like, they're throwing sticks at his campfire and shit. And they're throwing sticks at his thing, and he lights a campfire, and then, like, eventually in the middle of the night, one comes out, and you see its hand against the tent, and it, he holds his hand up, and it's, you know, the hand of the Sasquatch is massive. Right. Uh, I don't know. It's very X-Files stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, he's got to tell him, look, man, you guys, you know, they're like, yeah, we just come here for vacation. He's like, well, you got to 
not be here. Yeah, and it's like, it's a crime to even communicate with you, and it's like, it's a good thing that you did, because, like, my werewolf buddies are probably gonna, gonna sh <laughs> shoot one of you, or eat you one day. <laughs> one of the two. Some good communication with an interdimensional Sasquatch. That'd be a really weird episode. I mean, you could do the classic vampire CEO thing that's running the blood bank agencies at one point. Could do that. You know, like you gotta take down the CEO or whatever. The other classic is the law firm. Well, like... The angel law firm. Oh yeah, the, the, the law firm run by demons. <laughs> But then you also have to do the other one, which is the law firm where the the guy has an a, uh, like a tumor, but he also gets like visions of the future, and he's basically an angel, and he does like pro bono work. Right. That's kind of cool. All right. Yeah, the fucking asshole vampire cops from being human. From being human. So you have to have his counterpart on the police force. Right. The Who's one that's covering up and enabling the vampires, whereas <laughs> he's he's trying to help. The supernatural world in general. This guy's just only helping the vampire world and and horrifically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and the, the 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 demon law firm agency from Buffy. Right. You gotta have the demon law firm agency from Buffy, and then you have to have the 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 anti version of that, which is um, you know, like the psychic. Yeah. Yeah. That that knows how to do good and is kind of an angel. The, the, the prophet. Yeah, the prophet. The the prophet lawyer. <laughs> I don't know why, but this sounds right in Star Trek. You, there's people that their psychiatrist or whatever is the chef. <laughs> so like Lupin's or whatever psychiatrist could be like, not not even one guy, but like he just he talks to um, uh, vendors like food vent like truck food vendors like he always goes to. Like, he goes there for food sometimes. <laughs> Even though he's in a suit and stuff and, like, talks endlessly to him about weird shit and then leaves. There should be one of, uh, at, at some point, there should be a dude who makes a movie. <laughs> based on him. Uh, and it should be, uh, based on, uh, the, uh, Watson's blog or whatever from Sherlock, uh, Holmes. Right. Or, uh, Holmes and Watson. So, so Watson has, like, this, like... You know, he reports on Sherlock's cases and, like, puts it on the internet. And so that should happen somehow. Right. Somebody that, that's posting his stuff. Yeah, essentially, like, bro hickey or whatever from X-Files. And they, like, they know about the, they know about things. Even though they shouldn't. Right. And so you can actually do, like, the, the Buffy with the librarians or, like, the, the men of letters or whatever. Um, from Supernatural. Naturals. So you, you, you do that, but they're not actually like in crew. They're they're, they're separate. Yeah, they're like they're like creepy stalker guys that like you don't want to you know like be girl, around. Yeah, like the girls don't want to be around them. <laughs> they're super creepy. Mm. You could have the Slayer, and the Slayer's like a friend of his that he bumps into, like you know, around the country, going on different cases. You bump into the Slayer. But the Slayer's, like, his buddy. But, like, you got, like, an episode where, like... They weren't or something. Yeah, you know, you gotta you gotta earn that relationship. Yeah. And then the, um... Then the Huntress. Right, and the Huntress just, like, hunts his ass. And everybody like him. And she's a problem. Yeah, she's the biggest. Uh, probably the biggest. Problem, yeah. Next to, like, maybe vampires. I would say, like, the... Like, yeah, the, uh, yeah, I would say there's, like, the vampire CEO thing, maybe. And then there's vam vampire cops, which are a fucking problem. Right. Um, but um, but that's like an organizational problem that that's not really after him personally. They're whereas just a problem in the city. Right, right. Whereas the huntress is literally after him personally. Yeah. Um, maybe maybe the um the vampire cop like you know because uh, vampires harass werewolves, the va and and cops harass private detectives. So it's like it's like somehow you make it. I don't know, so that relationship... Territorial bullying mm -hmm. type of... Mm, yeah, yeah. Maybe you mentioned territory a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, he'll, he'll, like, yeah, turf and territory, and, like, and then you get the um, Lupin detective guy to, like, snort or whatever, but then he'll, like, he'll step back. Right. <clears throat> yeah, weapons dude. Like Blade. Mm-hmm. Who takes silver in payment. Mm-hmm. Way to get it out of the state. Uh, <laughs> and maybe he has a weird blade tattoo on the back of his head. Right. From Blade. 
Oh, and there's the antiques dealer somewhere. And I would say that the antiques dealer, you know, like somehow like that's kind of how you pay for things. If you take, you know, you run into really old ghouls. Yeah, I just take this too. Yeah, they have like, they have really old items that you can take and recycle and um, pay for things. Right. Um, uh, so you can kind of do like um, on the side, like, like the... What is it, a roadhouse, uh, antiques roadhouse or something like that? A little bit of antiques roadhouse research for every episode. Right. And um, a little bit of history of the Greek Lupin, King Lupin guy. And uh, maybe some uh, like investigation into how, you know, King Lupin is the re reason why there's werewolves. Right. And it goes back to this Greek guy like thousands of years, years ago, ago. In, in like the Bronze Age. And his deal or whatever. Yeah, yeah, some his some curse. Yeah, some curse he brought upon himself. <clears throat> drinking werewolves or drinking wolf blood and all that, you know, real weird old shit. Dracula and, and others. Uh, I, I would say instead of Dracula, I would say stick with Alucard. Okay. You don't get Alucard as a real character, but like he for he's he's in canon. It's just Dracula backwards. Dracula's son, Alucard. Mermaid and Siren or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he can go to Israel, investigate mermaids. He's talked to the mayor of uh, the local city who saw mermaids. Jin. Jin. <laughs> I don't know what you do with Jin, but... Maybe maybe that's something to do with Lupin to begin with. Like, once you get to the point where you're you're all the way down to Jin, you're like, one of the Jins, like, oh, yeah, I was around when... Uh, you guys are first, uh, first maid. Right. Maybe that's a good reason, like, how the werewolves got started. It was a gym thing. Genie wished by the king. Right, right. And the genie, like, you know, took it too far. Because <laughs> that's what they do. Yeah, it's all about tricks and, and whatnot. Old curses. Constantine stuff. Weapons dealer. Oh, I was going to say the antiquities thing. The, the antique dealer. There was this old thing where the, uh... Antiquities was a position for the mastermind of a plan or whatever. So uh, maybe every once in a while uh, you find out the uh, the antique the antiquities dealer is like got like this whole other bag going on, and you go to him or whatever if you need something really complicated done, you know, like some end of season crap. Yeah. Uh, you get the antique dealer in on it, and the antique dealer is the uh, <laughs> Ocean's Eleven guy. You know, when you want to do real Ocean's Eleven stuff, you bring in that guy. Mm -hmm. Or lady, whatever, doesn't matter. They're like super educated and... Yeah. You're like the smartest person around. You talk about how some of the employees are soldiers. You yeah. Know, some of them are mid-management or mid-level or something like that. Oh, you got, you do the uh, the guy who's the inventor of Scrabble from... Um, from um, the last boy scout he just like uses all these exuberant word you know yeah and uh posthumous and he just he just reaches for all the crazy words the fuck were you the inventor of scrabble <laughs> we're getting beat yeah. up we're getting beat up by the inventor of scrabble <laughs> jake uh jake approaches his position with a certain exuberance yeah and a lot of these guys, they could be police officers they could be firefighters they get paid really well for this job. <laughs> they feel good. They wake up in hotels almost all the time. Yeah, it's like you got, oh, you, you have the soldier. The soldier who needs a mission, you know, and, he, and, and the, you know, I've got a mission for you. All right, boss. And he, like, goes too far. Right. And, like, things get violent and stuff. And, uh, you know, boss has to, you know, luckily come in and calm things down, like, right as stuff gets out of hand in an alley somewhere. Right. You know, I was trying to think of a Casey Jones type guy. There, there, There's your Casey Jones guy. You know, the veteran. The veteran, yeah. You could even do that one episode where you, like, classify everybody. The boss. Yeah. The veteran. The boss, the veteran. <clears throat> uh, the techie. Right. Pemberton Detective Agency. It's like it's like in an old Pemberton Detective Agency or something like that. Well, usually, as I said, what the Pemberton Detective Agency used to do was they would rent out a floor or two for a year straight in the classiest hotel in the area that they needed. And he would do it that way. So that way his business was always wanted. 
Right, right. So it's it's uh it's it's yeah, it, like maybe we will be able to get that floor again <laughs> if it's necessary. Yeah, in in classic werewolf shows, you know, like the person like starts out all naked and dirty at the beginning of the episode, you know. But I I would say actually you probably try to start out every episode like, you know, all clean and straightening the suit and tie or whatever mm -hmm. and by the time you finish the episode, like it's all like tatters and yeah now okay. it's all dirty and right you start out with like the good hotel you know <laughs> with the with the james bond hotel and you try to like show off a uh, hotel um furniture and environments right. you know like all this fun money that they spend on all this weird stuff he lives by the continental breakfast yeah 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 without it he wouldn't know what the, you know what i mean every day i go downstairs there's my continental breakfast. Right, you see him making a protein shake, milkshakes and shit? Right. Like, just drinking it like an obscene amount of protein. Like, 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 when it's <laughs> continental breakfast, there's like four protein shake, milkshakes or something like that. You know, and, every, you know, some people are looking at him funny and he's just like, yeah, it's for my family. Yeah. And then he just goes back to his table and drinks them all. Right. <laughs> he, that's how he is. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I, I like. I think it'd be best to see him traveling, you know, very supernatural style. But then, you know, he's got to call people, right? You know, so I, I you know, uh, a reoccurring partners, or something like that. Um, sometimes it's people that are that, that show up that, that aren't partners, right? I'll hire. And I think yeah, I think his main jo his main Joker or whatever is the Huntress. Yes. You know, like right at just the, the wrong. wrong yeah, like when the the audience is knee deep and all right, man. And it looks bad for him. Yeah, and then and then the huntress comes in like the hand of God or, or what Deus Ex Machina, but in a terrible way and just completely bones the whole situation. Yes, <clears throat> and it he looks like the moment it happens, it looks like he's doing something wrong. Yeah. So I, no matter what, in her eyes, he is the villain. I, I would love to see a. I, I gotcha. I, I would love to see a Mexican standoff, and the huntress just drops in from the ceiling and starts whooping his ass, and everybody else just like puts their guns down, and it, like the, it, like essentially revol uh, uh, resolves the situation. But then, like you know, it, it just moves to him getting his ass kicked out. Right. Uh, you know, basically out of the building. I was thinking I zombie a lot for some reason too. Okay. There's like an eye zombie esque aspect to this, I think. Yeah, zombies. Zombies is something you got to cover up. That's got to go real quick. Yeah. Uh, That's got to be a, a dealt with immediate situation. Before usually, it's, it's a lot of gunshots and whatnot. It gets pretty gross. Uh, I kind of like more than like keeping it on a supernaturals sort of. I don't think supernaturals had to fight a horde of zombies, did I don't they? I think they did. Yeah. <laughs> see. See. You can, uh, but mermaid, sirens, um, the occasional alien. I, I, I think, yeah, the occasional alien, no shit. Oh, there was the, uh, the tiger people. That was weird. Yeah. The guy who got a report of, he, uh, he bumped into a, like a, like a lion man in a, in a, uh, like an NSA. He was like a package delivery guy delivering to the NSA and he bumped into like a, uh, regular dude. Yeah. Like a tiger that was a man. And the tiger looked, just tried to pay attention, like, just tried to look for it. And he, the guy looked at the tiger and was like, are you fucking are you kidding me? Yeah, and the tiger was like, I can't talk now, we'll talk later or whatever. And then, like, five minutes later, he was getting a uh, blinky thingy from Men in Black. Years later, he calls it. Oh, but I guess in this situation, the tiger dude wouldn't actually be an alien. No. Or no, maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. Supernaturally. It'd just be like a dude, maybe just you go through that whole scenario. Or he's like down at the NSA or whatever. Or he's you know he's trying to get some yeah. info or something like that, and he accidentally bumps into the tiger suit guy or the the guy wearing normal clothes. I think I think the tigers wear tunics with a belt for some reason. And he, and, and, the NSA is like way behind on all of this comparatively. <laughs> like the NSA has been. That's another good joke. You know, a trope. Okay. Is that the actual government's trying? to do what he's doing but they're way behind they don't know what the, they don't even know what it is half the time or what they're looking for and when they do it's right, it's, it's always bad like like the the cross 
you know, like it's always bad knowledge. That would be hilarious <laughs> if, if the if if instead of the FBI, it's all about the NSA showing up and they always show up with the wrong tools. Right. Like they're trying to use crosses on werewolves and, uh, um, you know, they somehow think platinum does something and it doesn't. Uh, uh, they they try to shine UV lights on like his crew and it doesn't matter whatsoever. Right. So they're just totally unprepared. They're they're always like behind on on info and, I, and not even just behind on info, very rudimentary info. They're still they're still making their grimoire. What, <laughs> <laughs> what, I, I think in order to avoid getting arrested or whatever, he should get occasional like phone bleeps from somebody and it's like Edward Snowden. <laughs> like that's why the government doesn't like Edward Snowden because he you know he's got all their he's got all their uh, info yeah he's got all the Dracula files only like you can't really talk about that because it's too fucking stupid and weird <laughs> yeah Dracula files this, as soon as Edward Snowden says anything about Dracula getting out of the you know getting Dracula files out of the uh, military uh, computers like that's that's dumb you know but he but he can pop in and, and warn and warn uh warn our guy or help him out or something yeah <clears throat> tell him tell him there's agents coming yeah at one point maybe the nsa thinks something's an alien and it's a fucking nothing you know what i mean yeah <laughs> like it's just to they're total miss-ups <laughs> yeah maybe that that, maybe that 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 would work you know with the they're they always whenever the nsa is involved it's always because they're trying to uh cover up aliens right then they're essentially doing the same job that he's doing. They're like badly. Yeah, and maybe there's one guy on the NSA side who, like, <coughs> you know, like it's the kind of, like where 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 the NSA is one dude is like a werewolf or something else. I, I was just thinking. I was just thinking. There's one guy on the NSA staff who's who who's like eye to eye with this detective, and like they both like saw each other covering something up at the same time, and just kind of continued. <coughs> staring at each other while <laughs> hiding Doing evidence it. and then you know stood up and they both walked away and like nodded <laughs> and, and just went to their cars right like and there's... then and then you find out like later on there's like something up with that guy you know maybe there's an illuminati of the oh that's good that guy is the that guy is the uh, the illuminati's agent in the nsa or not just the illuminati but the illuminati of the supernatural world all right. Like he's covering up. The, if our detective guys covering stuff up, there's a secret organization that's been doing this for thousands of years. You know what I mean? <laughs> like there's a, there's a, there's a, a, a level further <laughs> than him. And maybe yeah, maybe he doesn't even know about it. Right, right. Maybe that's one of the weird uh, the noir film noir speeches he gives. You know, around every corner, there's uh, there's there's whispers and shadows of a, of a group, a group beyond my reach, a group <laughs> that foils me at every turn, or some you know just some overly dramatic crap. <laughs> it turns out that they're just fucking they're like him. Oh, and whenever whenever you hear him <laughs> giving those speeches or whatever, he should be like recording it in his car. <laughs> or something like that, but then like eating an ice cream cone while doing it. You know, super dramatic, but then like doing something very innocuous. He should come back sometime if his tapes are missing. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one, man. The uh Well that's like a thing that the uh Luminati... Just his, his record the record there's not a tape in his recorder one day and it's like wait. <laughs> Yeah, maybe every case is like uh, like him trying to re-record all of his cases or something like that. Yeah, at the end of the episode or at the beginning or mm -hmm, whatever. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, once you know, f file number one, two, two. Yeah, you know, case, case number. Let's see if I can remember this. You know? Right. <laughs> he goes through the case and records it, and maybe sometimes every once in a while the recording goes missing. Yeah, I think that's a good episode. The episode where all the recordings go missing, you know, and it's the NSA guys. Well, I was even thinking it was the Illuminati. That's what I mean. Yeah. That's, oh, I'm sorry. I meant, I meant the, the Illuminati. Yeah. The, the, I meant the NSA guy vis-a-vis -vis the Illuminati. Right. But, yeah. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. I, so. I think maybe everybody's one step behind everybody. Like, <laughs> nobody's really on top of the situation. Everybody's got, like, pieces. Yeah, everyone's got pieces. Lupin the detective. Werewolf in a suit. 
instead of something being made by like a curse or a scratch or by magic. And that was another thing we I, we mentioned was magic should magical items and whatnot should be made by magical people. Yeah, a, ma a magical item is ma is made magic by being made by a magical person. Right. So I guess like the werewolf that makes a silver bullet, like that's this, that's like for real. real. That's like a for real kill you kill a werewolf so silver bullet yeah. yeah like like if you get hit with that you are you are definitely fucking going down versus a silver bullet made by one of us it's like oh yeah that that bones their healing powers right yeah he would have to be like wolverine i would assume, assume. you know like pretty much instant healing yeah or healing whenever when you change and change back or something like that you're fully healed oh, fully yeah <clears throat> when oh. you change you get the scars you change back you're fully healed yeah. And then when you change back again, again. You're, you're definitely you're fully, fully healed. healed. You're not licking any wounds. I was also thinking about the Lords of Hell. Where, like, the werewolves are from, like, the Forest of Suicides, and they, they chase you around. Um, and then, like, that's, like, level 5 or 4 of Hell, or something like that. And then, like, the vampires are, like, from, like, level 7, or something like that, which is, uh, the, the burning... The burning graves, the skel the burning skeletons that, that that cover themselves up with dirt and like live in graves or something like that. Yeah. And then you get to the city of Dis, and it's like all this chameleon shapeshifty crap. And then you get farther into Dis, and um, like you you might you might come across like uh, you know vampires that that are like lords. Right. Okay. You know, pr vampire princes and stuff like that. Um, and, um... Finally, at the bottom is always Lucifer. Yeah, yeah, and a bunch of traitors, and, and, and the traitors. Anyway. Um, but, but I, I don't know, I, I was thinking about, like, you know, the, the ability to shape shift in a werewolf versus being a, um, a purebred or whatever, and it's, it's very similar to this thing with the, 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 the vampire lords in the city of Dis. And I was thinking of one that's, like, even man-made. Like experimental versus a curse or magical. It's one that's like actual in a lab. We 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 made this thing. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, you get a lot of that with Blade. Okay. When they come up with like the the ultraviolet and the the different silver weapons. I meant like made a creature. Yeah, you know. Yeah, like I don't really, a, I don't really a like Chimera or something. I don't really like that stuff so much, but you do get a lot of um, interesting Lovecraft stuff that you can pull from. Okay, like with Hellboy, at the very beginning of Hellboy, there's uh, Samael, the uh, the demon that it's like a dog, and uh, you you it's like every time you shoot it or something like that, it gets stronger. Right. Or some crap like that. You could have a few few. Weird, interesting, demony things like that. And then there's like the demon foxes in Japan. Oh, you know, okay. Well, I don't. I, yeah, that, I think that's more like the Tasmanian tiger thing. Okay. You know, like there's a there's a werewolf or whatever that's got like a ton of tails. Right. You know, maybe a girl Japanese werewolf that turns into the uh, the fox. Yeah. With a ton of tails, like <laughs> nine three tailed fox or, or not nine. nine tails, seven tails. It's got a lot of tails. It's like a Pokemon. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's kind of cool. You can do that, yeah. you know, and it's respectful too. Um, it's it's not it's not oh Asian, like like that's Japanese culture. She's a Japanese lady should turn into a Japanese werewolf. It's right. respect respectful. Uh, the Tasmanian one should be a, a, like a black guy from uh, Tasmania. Uh, yeah, totally. Australia or yeah. Yeah 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 like an Aborigine guy. Yeah 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 just a bunch of different the bear. Oh, the werebear. The werebear. The Russian werebear. Right. Uh, 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 son, sons of Odin. Um, I forget their name. Philly and Killy or something like that? No. It's Bayorn? No. It's the father. Uh, something like that. But yeah, the, the werebears. The werebear. I can't believe we got this deep and never mentioned a werebear. Yeah. We did mermaid. He could run into um, the... Uh, we were saying uh, Swamp Thing, but then that, that was kind of dumb, but that, that, that still leads to, um, it's kind of a creature, monster of the week, sort of saying Swamp Thing, and I'm not that impressed by that. Okay. Um, but, it, but it leads one to think of the, uh, the rest of the English DC guys, 
and so so like um, uh, the Dream Master and um, Nightmare right. and um, and Void, Void, which right. would be like uh, uh, like a Greek goddess lady from back in the day that could just eat you up, right? Suck you, suck your soul, and turn you into black smokiness and suck you up. Um, uh, if you piss her off, you know she'll <laughs> think you should be voided, you know. Right. And then um, there could be the um, from Underworld, the Immortals. Uh, just like this family of immortal yeah immortal family like vampires or but they're not vampires they're, they're just, just immortal. yeah they're just the immortal guys uh and, uh, like highlighters almost you know yeah and, and sometimes they'll hunt and sometimes they won't i i think i think they're just like these suits <laughs> you know like these other like rich guys that you that, that you know that you have to deal with yeah and they'll you know you kind of maybe go to them from information i think they're helpers not 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 not, not problem guys yeah yeah i think the immortal they're snotty i think yeah i think the immortals are, are snotty guys they're like the angels uh in like castile or whatever he, he comes in and he tells you some stuff and he, he can accomplish some things you know seemingly magically but like with the immortals it's it's with a phone call you know right. they, they know all the guys they have all the limos they have they all have the yeah they have armored cars and stuff like that they're 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 uh they're 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 kings and princes and mm -hmm. they're they're the royalty you're not of, gonna catch that they're the royalty of the show yeah deus ex machina kind of guys but in a good way yeah i got one last thing the book of solomon in the, in the apocryphal book of Solomon, Solomon like does all this weird stuff with all these demons, and uh, and in Buffy and uh, Supernaturals, they got into uh, these angels and archangels and rules with the archangels and their names and stuff like that, you know. But I I think maybe it'd be possible to get into like the demons and you know, the uh, the the like in the movie Fallen, they right. it was just about like the one demon. But in like you know the Lovecraft kind of way, you could kind of keep them coming. Yeah, keep keep the demons going. Right, right, and maybe it's the demons that that threaten to uh, to bring in like Lovecraftian monsters. You know, stuff that's like at the bottom wow. of the ocean and all things he does not want, nobody wants. Yeah, stuff nobody wants. That's that's uh, you know, and it's like you, you could even have the demons. You know, like you know what you think I'm gonna command Lucifer to come down here? Hell no. You know, like that's that's not gonna right. happen. And there's a difference between demons and vampires and you know what I mean? Right. Like there's demons and then there's you know what I mean? There's layers. Right. 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 Yeah, so like even if he has a vampire friend, like Castile in Supernaturals, like Cast like the vampire would always be like a bit of a dick or like always like screwing up everything and making problems, you know, cuz ultimately they're just like demons really. They're not they're not a genetic disease or something like that. Right. Uh, maybe you do have genetic disease vampires or whatever, but like that's Yeah, that's different. Yeah, this is uh Supernaturals, not uh not not Blade. Uh, and you just kind of do, uh, yeah, Supernaturals, Buffy, um, uh, a little bit of Blade, but, um, um, the weird, de the... It's Detective. Yeah. It's a Detective agent. Oh, I, I was gonna say, uh, X-Files Inside Out. Yeah. Alright, I'm pretty happy now. Said, said my thing. Thanks.